Hello everyone, happy Pi Day. Today we're going to be doing a Pi Day special and simplify this expression. So we have Pi over 1 plus Pi plus Pi over 1 plus Pi to the power negative 1. And I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. Now you don't have to do it here, but I just want to feel like using substitution because substitution is awesome. So I'm going to replace pi with x and write my expression as x over 1 plus x plus x over 1 plus x to the power negative 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify this expression uh, by writing what x to the power negative 1 means. And it just means that 1 over x. So I can write x to the power negative 1 as 1 over x. And then at this point, I want to make a common denominator. I'm going to be getting x over 1 plus x. And this one, at the bottom, I have x plus 1 divided by x. Now, when you're dividing two fractions, remember, x can be written as x over 1, so that it becomes a fraction. Uh, you basically flip the second one and multiply by the first, or you multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. Pretty much the same thing. So we can write this as x over 1 plus x plus. Now when you flip this, you're going to get x times x, which is x squared. And the bottom is going to be x plus 1. But I can write it as 1 plus x, obviously, right? Okay, great. So how do you solve uh, this one? Well, we already have a common denominator, so you could just add the numerators. And you get from here x plus x squared divided by 1 plus x. Obviously, x should not be 0 here. Otherwise, we're going to run into problems. First of all, x to the power negative 1 is not going to be a real number. Or it's not going to be well defined. So now, to simplify this, since x does not equal 0, I can actually factor out x here. Write this as x times 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x. Well, I should probably also say x does not equal negative 1 because then our expression will be undefined too. So x will be different from those values and 1 plus x is just going to cancel out and it's going to leave us with x. Now we have to go back substitute. Remember, we replaced pi with x so we can replace x with pi now. So the answer is going to be pi. Yay, happy pi day again. And let's proceed with the second solution. Or second method, I should say. All right. For our second method, again, I'm going to be using the substitution. So let's pick up where um, that is. So we have x over 1 plus x plus x over 1 plus x to the power negative 1. This is also really cool because you can basically replace uh, x with any number. And this is still going to be true because at the end, the answer is always x. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this later. So uh, now, instead of making a common denominator, which is you know, easy to do. Uh, I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by x. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by x and multiply this by x. It's pretty much equivalent to making a common denominator. Maybe it's a little easier. So this gives us x over 1 plus x plus x squared over. Now when you go ahead and distribute, you get x plus x times x to the power negative 1 is just 1. And now since you have a common denominator, you can just go ahead and pretty much do the same thing here. And then from here, you're going to get x times 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x. And then you, go, you can go ahead and cross out the 1 plus x as long as x does not equal negative 1. And you're going to get x, which means the answer is pi. Awesome. Uh, great. So this is basically what it is. But I, would, I just want to tell you something. Uh, if Since we this expression is true uh, for pretty much all the x values that are not like 0 or negative 1. Now, what happens if x is equal to 0? Well, uh, it's not. It's going to be problematic. Anyways, so those values are excluded. But what if you had something like this? 1 over 1 plus x plus 1 over 1 plus x to the power negative 1. Then the answer will be 1, right? Because that's what is in the numerator. What happens if you have a problem like this? And I've seen problems like this before. Uh, something like 1 over 1 plus 2 to the power a minus b plus 1 over 1 plus 2 to the power b minus a. So one thing to notice here is that as a shortcut, notice that 2 to the power b minus a is just the reciprocal of 2 to the power a minus b. So you can just go ahead and write it like this. And then you can just proceed, just call this x, and you're going to get 1 over 1 plus x plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over x. And the rest is as follows. 
it's just it's just gonna be okay i shouldn't say x this should be one okay great so you get the idea hopefully that gives you a pattern happy pi, pi day again uh, i'll see you tomorrow with another video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and i just want to say my voice may sound a little bit different because i i'm recovering from the flu you have a good one i'll see you tomorrow bye bye